guys, my name is Carson and welcome to our channel, The Complete Couple. We are gonna bring you a ton of incredible content over the next, you know, years to come. And uh, right now we've got an Alaska trip planned and we wanna kinda of go over some of the essentials when you're packing for a large trip. We're gonna be going for 10 days, we're gonna be going to Seattle, then we're gonna be going on a seven day Alaska cruise. We're gonna be bringing that, all that content to you guys. So today we're gonna to break down kind of our luggage. It gets crazy when you've got bag constraints with weight, a wife that brings way too many shoes and animals that want to come along with you. So we're going to break down some items and uh, weights and some essentials and give you guys an idea of what you need to do. All right, so something I want to go over to start is something that when I met my wife eight years ago, we've taken, God, you know, probably over 50 to 100 trips together that I thought was so OCD, I couldn't handle it. But now I find to be an essential when I'm packing my bags is an itinerary and on the itinerary she goes through and literally marks and she's in red and i'm in blue what we're wearing every day and i know that may seem crazy but when you're going for a long trip it really narrows down what you're going to wear and if you want to make sure you've got enough clothes for every day and you're not going to over bring clothes especially when you're on a, a tight pound when you're flying i find it to be an essential if you see right here let's see first day i'm wearing a black t-shirt gray pants if you go to the next day, another black t-shirt, burgundy pants. Every single one of these days is in order with what I'm wearing. Makes it super easy when you're changing and getting ready. Yeah, tons of uh, Abercrombie boxers, but that is an essential when you're going on a long vacation. So we kind of went over how to organize your clothes, but now we're gonna get into what you should actually bring. So Alaska is very temperamental. We're going the first week of June. Currently, the weather looks like it's gonna be roughly a high of 65 to 70 and a low of what looks like to be 40 to 50. Now, it rains a lot in Alaska. It's kind of muggy and wet. We're from Florida, it rains here a lot. Yeah, it's really warm in Florida, but we're used to rainy conditions. Pack more layers, you can take them off later. So if you're one of those people, my wife gets really cold, always be willing to pack a couple more layers that you can take off later. I bring a backpack, normally the layers go in my backpack if it's hot, if it gets cold, you can always throw them back on. My wife always recommends you should bring some kind of rain poncho or rain jacket, throws over if it's misty. I, I bring a couple extra pairs of shoes, God forbid a couple pairs get wet, we're doing the whale watching, we're going to be doing uh, like some Alaskan baits and things like that. I've seen a couple videos, it looks like we're going to be near the water, I always like going down, checking out the water, seeing if you can see any fish. You know, hey, you may get wet. So I recommend bringing a couple extra pairs of shoes, bring a couple extra jackets, layer, and we'll stay warm and have some fun. Now we're gonna go over some essentials that I would think are important for Alaska. For one, we're going with a group of seven. I bought two sets of binoculars. I'm hoping to see some bears, some sea otters, I'm looking to see some whales. Um, I'm really hoping to see a bald eagle, it would be awesome. But I went on Amazon, these were $60, they're the 12 by 42 lens. Wide lenses, so it's easy to see. They actually came with a mount, which was kind of cool, so if you want to put your cell phone on it, you can get some videos, but I think that's a pretty cool essential to bring for your trip to Alaska. Unfortunately, we still have to abide by COVID rules. We have to do the Air Canada forms, which has been a nightmare. Um, we have to test before we get on the ship. We're gonna bring all that to you on the ship and testing. You need to get yourself, if you're taking a cruise on Royal Caribbean, you need to go online and get the Abbott Binax Now COVID home tests. You go online, you can uh, get an app. They do everything on the computer on an iPad. You test right in your own house or we're gonna actually do it after we fly there. You get all the results on your phone and then when you go up, you scan and you're right on the ship. It makes it really easy. So Royal Caribbean makes it nice take the Binax now tests, do it before you go right on. Masking is not necessary on the cruise ships. However, we're going to Canada. You never know if some of these tours require masks. So we're bringing an entire set of masks, something that you should not forget. I'm unpacking my bag, but my wife always loves to bring liquid IV. She brought an entire pack of it. I got stuck putting it in my carry-on bag. She swears by it. We take them a lot. Can't tell you if it helps. But if you want to be on her side, take some uh, liquid IV. The tip that, we, that, that we've started doing over the last couple of trips when we fly is we, put, we try to put a lot of our heavy items, heavier items, 
and bulky items in our carry-on bag. With our big suitcases, shirts, pants, they all stack really nicely. I always put my, uh, I always put my toiletry bag actually in the larger side. But we put all of our shoes and heavy items in our carry-on bag because they don't weigh them. They're awkward and bulky. And I was able to get, let's see, one, two, three, four pairs of shoes in here. Leather jackets, curling iron for the wife. Uh, a lot of essentials that are really heavy two sets of binoculars in a carry-on bag that they're never gonna weigh. This whole bag right here weighs 45 pounds. Weighing her carry-on bag, this bag weighs 28 pounds. 28 pounds, 45 pounds. Put all your heavy items in your carry-on, makes it a lot easier to not pay overage fees at the airport in your large luggage. Another point I wanna bring up, these cruise ships, we've been on so many. We live in Orlando. It's a super quick ride to uh, Port Canaveral. We go on cruises probably five or six times a year, maybe more, depending on the year. Bring yourself essential medicines and creams. If you need Benadryl, if you want Tylenol, Dramamine. A lot of these cruise ships, yeah, they have a small area you can buy items, but it's not like a large pharmacy like a CVS. How they haven't come out with a CVS on a cruise ship yet, I'm not sure. But if you're looking for, if you need medicine, Make sure you bring in allergy medicine, uh, Motrin's, deodorants, you know, hairspray, all of those types of essentials, make sure you bring it. Probably something that most of you do, but double bag all of your toiletry items and make sure they're not on your carry-on bag because they're gonna make you throw them out. So we single bag them, double bag them. My wife makes me put them in my suitcase, which I hate because if it explodes, it's gonna be all over my stuff. She sends, she always brings a, an air freshener. It does smell great in our room. I don't know if it's a necessity, but she does always bring. Cruise ships, they use paper straws. I know it's great for the environment. When you like to drink, it's not great for the pina coladas. It's not great for the strawberry daiquiris because the straw melts, makes it impossible to drink. Go to Costco, go to Walmart, go to Publix. Get some plastic straws. Make sure you recycle them on the boat. We're still helping out the environment, but it makes drinking your pina colada and strawberry daiquiri that much better. So we've got a large family. We bring 100, and we'll probably be passing those out at the boat. Another essential item that is so important to bring that we even sometimes forget, that's why I'm telling you, is a toiletry or a dirty clothes bag. These dirty clothes bags make your room so much cleaner and nicer. When you're in a cramped quarters, Stuff is everywhere. It's nice to know exactly where your dirty clothes are going. And sometimes on long trips, if they do a discounted laundry day, put this in the bag that they give you, have some of your laundry done for you. But if not, it still makes it nice and easy. At the end of the trip, take the bag, throw it in one side of your suitcase, makes it a lot easier to pack up on the way home. Something else that's important for these getaways, for your wife or loved one or girlfriend, pack a good set of slippers. My wife wears these all the time when we're around our room. Hell, I think she's even walked down to the Windjammer buffet before. So make sure you got a good set of slippers. The make floors sure... are gross. Yeah, floors I don't are trust gross. Them. It just makes your life a lot easier. All right, so a couple of essentials with your carry-on bag for your, your airport. Um, again, medicines, always good to have. Kleenex, always good to have. We bring some gum. Got a pack of gum in here. Because when you're flying, you don't know if your next door neighbor's gonna need a piece of gum because they've got a headache from the flight. More masks. Another thing that we recommend, this is just rubbing alcohol. You buy 70% the isoferic. And we go on Amazon, we buy these little spray cans. They're fantastic, you fill them up. My wife does a great job of this. She pre-bags them. That way when you're going through airport security, you can pull them out, makes it nice and easy. Some heat warmers, uh, different types of earphones. This is the plug that'll, that we have iPhones, but this is the plug you need if uh, the airport or the airline has movies in, in, uh, in flight movies you can watch. Some koozies for the drinks. That's what goes in that pouch. And then you open up our large pouch, and this is where the good stuff happens. You always want to have a jacket just for when you need them. We love these. Go to your local convenience store, pick up some Clorox wipes. We wipe down the seats when we're traveling. Yeah, they use the nice uh, air filters now on the flights. However, 
we, we think it's better to wipe the seats down. Um, again, we got two packs of those, different kind of headphones. And then what I love to bring is my Morphe chargers. I've got like four of these. I never used to do it, and now over the last like five years I've collected them. I sometimes don't even plug my phone into the wall when I'm on vacation. I literally just plug them into this. It makes it so much easier. Uh, they always give a full charge. This, this large brick right here charges my phone like four times from zero to full. Again, I don't even plug my stuff on the wall. I just plug them into this, but I brought a couple of those for family members. Always make sure nowadays, bring your passport. You need to bring your vaccine card, super important. A lot of the ports are requiring it. They require it when you get onto the cruise ship. Yeah, we had to fill out a bunch of paperwork prior, but if you don't have those items, you're not getting on. Not necessarily something you have to have, but everybody has different phones nowadays. I have an iPhone. My dad has an Android, and everybody loves to use my chargers. If you just go to any fuel pod, you buy this fuel pod. The best part about this is it comes with every adapter you need for every type of cell phone. So, if your family member runs out of battery, they got a different phone, you don't gotta worry about it, you pop that open, you got them covered. Those are some of the essentials I always recommend bringing. We like to bring a little envelope full of what we're gonna spend on the trip, make a little breakdown, but that's just what we do so we kinda have an idea of what we're spending. Obviously, we're still leaving out a couple of the real essentials, your iPad, maybe computer. If you work, bring some of your work with you. Bring a Sudoku book. Me and my wife like to challenge each other. Maybe a good magazine to read. And to make sure you have a happy wife, make sure you buy some snacks at the airport because if not, that flight's gonna be freaking miserable. And grab a couple water bottles. So again, my name's Carson. We're the complete couple. I didn't get to show my wife today, but let me assure you, she's gorgeous. That's what we think is important to bring on your next vacation. Yeah, we're going to Alaska, so we maybe have tailored this a little bit more towards Alaska. But no matter what, this is a good video to remind you what to take on your next cruise or flight. If you got a service animal or emotional support, maybe bring them along too. I'd love to have brought our cat or dog, but unfortunately, they're not coming with us. Enjoy your next trip, and we're going to see you next time.